Hello, welcome to another How to Code Well YouTube tutorial. My name is Peter Fisher, and this is the second part of the Docker image, Docker container uh, set of tutorials. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to focus on how we can change and manipulate a Docker image once we have the image downloaded to the machine. Um, in the previous tutorial, in the intro tutorial, I uh, had a discussion on what the difference is between a Docker image and what the difference is between a container and the, the things that define the two, um, as well as a brief uh, tutorial, I suppose, uh, or a demonstration of how to pull down an image uh, and how to run them as containers or run containers from the images. Um, now, uh, I highly recommend you check that video out, uh, the previous one, um, because uh, it will give you some insight and some better knowledge for this video. Um, also, I've got a Docker Machines tutorial uh, that I recommend you, you watch too if you haven't already done so. I'll put links to those in the description and the uh, YouTube cards up here um, as I go along. But uh, to today, we're just going to focus on how we can manipulate these images once we have them. So I'm going to ensure that I'm in the right machine. So let's just do Docker Machine active and this should return the how to code well machine which it does and if we did docker uh, images we shouldn't have anything here and if we did docker ps minus a we shouldn't have anything there so you can see i've got nothing up my sleeve so let's just clear this down and what i'm going to do is docker uh, pull and we're just going to get the ubuntu um, the latest ubuntu image so this is this step is exactly what we did in the previous video. Uh, obviously, I had more exp explanation as to what I was doing, uh, but we'll just wait until this um, gets installed. Okay, so if we did Docker images, we can get the uh, image ID. All right, so we, what we need to do is create a container from this image first. Before you know, in order to manipulate this image, we must get a container. Then we uh, create this container and uh, get into it using a bash shell. Then we install some bits and pieces. And then what we need to do is save tho those bits and pieces to the image so we can use it again. Um, so the first thing we do is docker run and minus IT. And we've got the image ID here. And we're going to go in as bin, whoops, bin bash. So this again will uh, bin bash. This will take me into a, a shell which it does, and what I can do is do an apt uh, get um, update, so that's gonna update the sources. And I'm going to install, um, if I just do a clear, I'm gonna install apt get install, I'm gonna install npm, npm, because this is something I use quite frequently. So if we go uh, yes. So this is actually creating changes to the image. Okay, so um, this is creating changes to the image on this Docker machine. And as this is running through, I would like to just explain that uh, there are things called Docker files. Now, a Docker file is um, what, what is used to actually create the images from scratch. Um, I will go into those in more detail uh, in future videos and how to create Docker files and, and so forth. But uh, the point I want to make is that it, it's... it's um, what I'm doing now is I'm uh, I'm I'm kind of cha I'm changing the image without changing a Docker file, which in some cases is okay, especially if I'm committing it back to a, a, a registry. But it's always good if you want to start from scratch um, to 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 do these changes to have the um, the n the app get install npm command within the Docker file as well. So then you can put that into source control and uh, other developers can use it. But anyway, um, I digress. So let's do npm minus v and we can see here that we've got 3.5.2. That's fine. And I'm just going to exit out of this container. Okay, so um, obviously, if I did Docker images, if I was to remove this image, and then uh, do a pull from Ubuntu again, I won't have the NPM because this is something that I've added myself. So what I need to do is commit this image um, and I'm committing it to, to my uh, local how to code well machine. So what I do is do docker commit. Um, 
In fact, actually, I need to do Docker PS minus A because you know I said before that um, a, a container is a snapshot of an image, so we need to do Docker commit uh, minus no, we don't. Uh, Docker commit and then the com the container ID, so it's that one there, and we need to give it a name as well. So I'm going to do Ubuntu Ubuntu, and I'm just going to put uh, dash npm hyphen npm. So what that is going to do after I press enter is it's actually going to create another image or a snapshot of that container with npm uh, in there. And if I was uh, working against a private or a public, public Docker registry, in which I could log into, I could then do a Docker push and push this uh, or Docker tag, tag it and then push it up. So if I now did Docker images, uh, we can see that we have a, th a third image here, Ubuntu-NPM. So that was the first one that we got, the latest that we got. And then this is the one that we have literally just created. So let's do a Docker PS minus A. Um, I'm just going to clear the screen. Uh, Docker PS minus A. And we've got, so we've got that uh, 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 container that we were just in. I'm going to do a Docker RM um, and remove it because what I want to do is do a docker images and I want to do a docker run a minus IT and I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use this image the new image that we've got and I'm going to run that and actually what I'm going to do is just run npm minus V okay so that will print out the version of npm from the container so if I did that we should get 3.5.2 which we do now, if I was to do that against the previous image, um, the image that we first got from the uh, public uh, registry, the Ubuntu uh, repository. So if I did npm, if I ran that against here, um, we will get an error. And we'll get an error because npm isn't installed in that image. It is in this image, but not in that image. So if I did that, then we get a, an error. Um, a, a pretty nasty one and basically that means that the executable file cannot be found in the path um, so I'm just going to clear that down um, and do docker ps minus a and likewise if I was to let's just do a docker rm there are other ways of actually getting into these uh, containers using uh, docker exe but I will show that to you uh, later on I'm going to just kill that and also kill that one, uh, like so. So docker ps minus a, got nothing there. Let's go back to docker images. So if we were to do a, a docker run um, minus it to the original image ID, so that's the original um, Ubuntu image. And then if I was to just run that as bin bash, and did a npm minus v, we can see that it is, can't, command cannot be found. So I'm gonna exit out of view, and I'm going to now jump into bin bash in this image. And paste that in, and do an npm minus v, and we can see it is there. So this is how you create your images or you update your images and you commit them. And like I said, if you if you were connected or logged into uh, a registry, you could then do a, a tag and a, a push to push this um, stuff up. It's very important to keep committing as you go. Um, and also, like I said, it's very important to have a Docker file that you can update as you go too, just to keep a, a record of what you've done. Um, I'm gonna leave it there, even though there's a lot more to, uh, to this subject, I'll probably pick that up again in in the following tutorials but if you've got any questions then please do let me know put them in the comments section below like the video if you found it helpful and please do share it around subscribe to get the uh, next set of tutorials and also the web chats that i do every week so thanks again for watching and i shall see you again soon bye